What's up, what's up guys? How's everyone doing tonight? What's up, Batista? trying to come in here. Are you coming in too? Huh? Are you in here? Are you coming in? Come on. Are you coming in? Come in. Are you coming in? Are you coming inside? Come on. Come on. Oh, you don't have to get up, man. Keep it here. There's no coffee party in here. What's up, Jay? What, you, what am I cooking? Um, tonight I am cooking, I'm just trying to meal prep for the next today and then, oh, actually today, tomorrow, and then probably uh, Thursday morning. I am doing um, four pounds of ground beef, and then I'm gonna be cooking up four pounds of ground chicken. I just cooked up some rice, and then I gotta eat, cause I've had like no food today. I had um, a tiny little chicken sandwich, and that's it for the day. So I am quite hungry right now. I've been running around nonstop. A lot of stuff going on right now. So I've been uh, slacking on my food, which is something I shouldn't be doing, but it happened. And then yesterday, didn't really catch up or didn't do all of my meals either. I went to Epcot yesterday to film a uh, YouTube video, or at least attempt to film. It was absolutely insane yesterday. It was so, so busy. I completely forgot it was a holiday. Showed up and then like, oh, it's maximum capacity like times two. So, YouTube video coming out soon. <laughs> but yeah, definitely gotta get better about sticking, sticking to the diets. I guess the nice, you know, nice part about being starved right now is that I actually like really want to eat my my boring meals. <laughs> Thank you, Italian. It was definitely an adventure. I was hoping, you know, I like going. To, I like going to the parks when it's not crazy busy. You know, because I live here, I try to go days where it's not just packed. You know, everywhere. And this was unfortunately just one of those days because it was poorly timed on my part because I just totally forgot it was a holiday, and it was just packed. So it wasn't as you know, it was an adventure, not the kind of adventure I was hoping for, but. Is what it is sometimes. Thank you, Juanito, for the rose. Did I buy the cup? Oh, no, I did not buy the cup. The coffee cups? I did not buy one. No, I bought, instead, I bought a new, another, uh, I bought the Mandalorian Starfighter set. So that is going to be one of the upcoming projects soon. Uh, Another thing, oh well, this is kind of cool, big news for me. Um, kind of cool news is I just bought a, a house, so I will be moving soon. So I'll be selling, selling my current house and I'll be moving uh, still in Orlando, but a little more on the outskirts. So gonna be a lot of moving soon. I gotta pack, I haven't even started packing. I'm supposed to, supposed to close in the house tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, so excited for the new house, so excited to, to be a little further out. You know, living in Orlando is nice, but I have a hard time living in cities, just when there's just people everywhere 24 seven. 
I like a slower paced life because, you know, if I'm working all the time and I have stuff going on always, when I'm home, I want it to just kind of just flow and, you know, be a little further out into the country. Um, what's cool about this property as well is I really don't have a backyard here in my current house, but this new house has a half an acre. So, you know, real estate's a little bit cheaper the further you are out. So I was able to get half an acre of land. It's got some fruit trees. I'm gonna be putting some gardens in. Um, a lot of cool things that I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing and, you know, taking you guys on this little adventure with me. Orlando market, affordable. Um, certain areas, yes. Um, I mean, in the past probably four, three or four years, real estate out here has gotten just insanely expensive. Um, so it's certain areas on the outskirts are not too bad. If you're trying to buy homes or anything, just anything at all in the city of Orlando, it's just insanely expensive. Come to Texas. I was actually looking at property in Texas. I was looking, um, the south, southern, southeastern side of Dallas. Um, before I bought the place that I just, you know, I'm buying now, um, I did spent a couple days out in Dallas driving around, checking out the area, um, seeing if I liked it. It was nice, but it didn't feel like home, home to me. Like I, I come to Orlando or just in Florida in general, I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like I belong here. I didn't really get that feel from, from Texas. I love Texas, but uh, it just didn't feel like home. So I ended up passing on it, looked at some beautiful homes. I will say, homes out there, you know, bang for your buck price-wise, you can get ridiculous like mansion homes, like four or 5,000 square feet for, for a very surprisingly low amount of money. And they're beautiful. So will they give you a house tour? I can do a house tour. Yeah, I can do a house tour when I'm officially officially there. It needs a little bit of updating. Um, you know, the house was built in 2005, so it needs it's all still original. So I want to update things. I'm gonna you know make my office streaming area really cool. Um, I'm gonna do like a rustic speakeasy vibe. Um, so I'm excited for that. It's gonna be an adventure setting everything up and building everything and painting and all that stuff. So can't wait. Um, downside is I have to pack and move and I hate doing that and I don't like I don't really trust people moving my stuff so I like to move it all myself which also sucks but you know it's got to be done so somehow I'm gonna figure out how to <laughs> see everything all at the same time and still you know stick to my meals and still hit the gym so Looking forward to the adventure. Nicholas here as well. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. It's always nice to have another Nicholas in here. <laughs> yeah, she's honestly, you think she'd sleep. She's sleeping right now, but she is just waiting for something to hit the ground so she can eat it. If I was approached to be in a Star Wars film, would I accept? A hundred percent. I love Star Wars. I would absolutely be on board with that. I would prefer it if it was a villain role because it's just always more fun to play villains, but I would absolutely do it. I would do that. I would do, if they do a live action Kratos, I would love to audition for that. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say yes to both of those. Who's my favorite singer? Uh, my favorite artist is a band called Revolution. It's a reggae band. That is my, that is probably my favorite artist currently. Well, they've been my favorite artist for many years. But I listen to a lot of house music. Um, I have a lot of, a lot of favorite house music artists as well. Um, been listening to, lately it's been, as far as house music go, it's been a lot of John Summit. It's been uh, Hala. Uh, been throwing some Cascade back in there. Um, there's another one, Darius something, I can't remember what it is. What's up, Nick? Appreciate it, welcome. Do I like Madison beer? Is that an actual, like, is that an alcohol? If it is, I don't really drink alcohol, so that would be a no. You know, it's funny, I'm wearing an avocado shirt. 
don't like avocados. I like how they look, I just don't like how they taste. You wish you could train with me? I mean, the training with me is not the hard part. It's if you want to put the muscle on, down right there. You gotta eat the, all the food. Oh, Madison Beer is a singer. I don't know who Madison Beer is. I've never heard that name before. <laughs> guest on, guest on the beast. <laughs> Ace, thank you again for the forever rose. Thank you so much. Eat what? So right now I'm cooking up four pounds of ground beef and I'm gonna be seasoning it with this delicious Taco Bell taco seasoning. Um, and then I will be switching to, I will be cooking up um, four pounds of ground chicken after that. Am I part black? No, I'm not. I am, the majority of my family is from Greece, uh, and then I have a little bit of Spanish and a little bit of Italian. But the majority of my family is from Greece, probably I would say 75, 80%. What's up, Mari? Hello, hello, welcome in. Appreciate it, Ace, thank you so much. is really, you know, the easier, fun part of it all. I love going to the gym, I love working out. It's, you know, my my zen time. My, obviously it's hard work and everything, but I still think I, I just enjoy to do. It's kind of like a de-stressor for me. Um, but the hardest part of like building muscle is eating as much food as you have to eat to, to you know, for your size. For me, I have to eat a lot of food just because of uh, my current muscle mass, I mean, 6'5", 285, 290 pounds. I to, just to maintain it, I could eat a lot of food. Um, so, the hard part is the food, and then the second hard part is, you know, getting enough sleep and managing stress. You know, if you're very stressed out all the time, which I'm stressed out all the time, <laughs> um, but if you're, you know, you grow, you grow muscle, easier if you're not stressed out. It messes up all your hormones and everything in your body and it just throws everything out of whack and it just, your body goes into, I don't know, let's say like survival mode when you're, instead of just focusing on like building muscle. So I know I said I've been slacking on my meals the past couple of days and just, I'm really trying to be better on meals because I really want to lean out, you know. Oh, too hot. Don't touch that. Hold on. These doggos are trying to fight for everything right now. Hang hey, chill. Chill, 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 chill. They are such fatties. <laughs> Avocados taste amazing. I love how they look. I think the shirt is super adorable, but I'm not a huge fan of avocados, like how, as far as how they taste. Is it more about the protein intake than carbs? I mean, I have a lot of carbs as well. Um, you know, you just have to find your, your proper, like your, your correct macronutrient intake, you know, proteins, fats, carbs. Um, and then obviously everyone's goals are gonna be different. I mean, my current goal is to lean out. So my carbs are going down, my fats are going down. Guys, go, go. So yeah, my protein, my protein pretty much stays the same. Um, right now, like my protein intake is about 300 grams of protein or should be 300 grams of protein per day. Um, and you know, as my carbs come down a little bit, my fats go up a little higher because my body works more or works better on a, um, on a, a, low, a low carb, high fat diet. You want to be a dog? Oh, well, they're just, man, there's nothing here. Hey, hey, there's nothing. We'll go, go on. They're such fatness. But they're precious and they're lovely pieces. Let's 
that cool off for a second. What's up, Andy? Ooh, my arms are, my arms are sore. Probably because I have not been eating enough. <laughs> thank you, Kevin, for the heart. I appreciate it. Hector, thank you for the rose. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for the gifts. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you all so very much. You guys are absolutely amazing. What's my split in the gym? So right now I'm doing a three-day split. So three days in, one day off. Uh, I'm trying to do cardio six days a week right now, at least half hour. Um, I'm trying to get back into running as well. It's one thing I really want to get back into. Um, but I will do chest, back, uh, and then I will do a quad focus leg day, then my day off, and then I will do shoulders, arms, and I'll do buys and tries the same day, and then I will do my second leg day, which is um, a glute and hamstring focus leg day. So that's my current split, and then cardio every day that I'm in the gym. Do I have an X? Yes, it is Nick, two underscores, and then my last name, Poulos. What do I cook? So most of the time when I'm cooking, it's pretty boring food. It's, you know, all of my, my essential meals. So I do a lot of beef, uh, a lot of ground beef, a lot of ground chicken, uh, eggs, and then I will do salmon. Those are my, my main protein sources. So my first meal of the day is eggs. Um, I cook that up every morning. Um, but as far as like my, my main meals go, I try to prep in advance because uh, right now I'm going through about about six pounds of protein every day. So it does go quick. So that's why I try to cook up in advance because right now I'm doing, I'm doing seven meals a day. Why ground chicken? Um, because it's easier to cook up. I don't have a barbecue right now. It's easier to cook up, just throw it in the stove. Um, and it mixes well. Like, so I mix it with my rice and my veggies um, and it just, not as dry. I used to air fry it, because, but that's just a pain in the butt. What goes my beef? Um, so I'll do like mixed veggies and then I will do, uh, so right now my carb is, my main carb source is white jasmine rice. Um, I do about 100 grams of white jasmine rice per meal and then I do about three ounces of veggies. So that's what I do um, as I'm trying to slowly just trim down. I'm not trying to drastically cut because I feel like if I drastically, drastically lean out, um, you know, it's more common to lose more muscle as you're cutting. So slow and steady wins the race. And also, when I'm, if you're trying to do like a super like hard crash diet too, you feel like crap and you don't have any energy. You lose, lose the motivation to go to the gym, and just, you know, I feel extra tired and extra lazy every day. And also, on top of that, you know, depending on your personality type, some people tend to get a little more irritated easily, and, you know, no one wants to be irritated. So there we go. There's my taco season ground beef. That's four pounds right there. Can't wait to have some of this. Let this cool off for a little bit. And then get my chicken here. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. Now we got some seasonings a little bit. Time to cook up the chicken. And also, you know, it makes it easier for me, like eating ground chicken with how much food I have to eat. Um, I don't have to cut up the chicken, like full chicken breasts. I'd rather just like, I go to my, my local butcher shop for my protein um, and they weigh everything out for me and cut and grind it up. So this is all 100% just lean chicken breast that they've ground up for me. So it just makes, I don't know, it makes my life easier with how much I have to cook all the time. 
just defrost it and then you know toss it in toss it in the uh, the old pan and it's a little easier to I don't really marinate my chicken but if I miss mixing like a teriyaki sauce or I'm missing a barbecue sauce with my meals um, it's just much easier to just mix it up that way What's up, Monty? You're gonna to move to Orlando? I mean, the hard part of moving to Orlando right now is it's, it's tough to find real estate. So the house, the house that I actually bought, I was looking for homes for quite a while. Um, and it was just a pain to find something. And then I finally found something, I'm like, you gotta just jump on it. Pulo says, you, am I Greek? Yes, I am Greek. What's up, BW? Hello, hello, welcome in. What's up, Carlos? Hola, hola. Love the shirt, thank you so much. <laughs> I want one that has like hot dogs on it. Yep. Want some hot dog ones. One like a cheeseburger one. Thank you, Dragon. I mean, I love my heritage. Absolutely. I didn't even realize there was a hot dog gift, but that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, I gotta season this stuff. Seasoning. My chicken season, I'm using a Monterey chicken seasoning. I think it's a really good seasoning for, for chicken or chicken breast. It's delightful. What's for dinner? Um, so I have three meals to catch up on tonight before I go to bed because I've been not eating my meals because I've been busy all day. Um, but my meal here, once it cools off a little bit, I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have six ounces of ground beef with 100 grams of white jasmine rice, and it's gonna be amazing because I'm starving. I've literally had one meal today and it was just a tiny little sandwich because I've just, I've been on the road all day. So, yeah. Now I gotta catch up. I have to drink, I have to finish this, and then I have to drink a whole nother one of these of water before I go to sleep and eat three meals. So it's gonna be, uh, a lot of eating and drinking tonight. Did I enjoy my cookie house? I did, and I literally, as soon as I ended the stream, it fell apart. So, yeah. <laughs> Am I in a new house yet? No, I actually, so I close in the new house tomorrow. Um, and then I gotta do a little bit of updating on the house, some painting and some, some little things that need to be brought up to code before I can move in. Um, and then, yeah, then I gotta do all the fun packing and all that, you know, super lovely stuff. So hopefully I'll be moved in maybe in the next three to four weeks. Fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Yes, um, so for me, so for work I do social media and adult entertainment. Um, and the people I choose to work with are all content creators. You have to be a verified content creator to, uh, to work with me. Um, so that's kind of how I choose who I work with. Um, and then, you know, the nice thing about doing it on my own, you know, not working with a production company is I get to choose who I work with. And for me, the one, the nice thing about that is it, I don't know, it's just more organic. Um, you know, I like to really know who I'm working with, um, just so it's, you know, enjoyable for everyone involved. And it just, you know, on camera, it flows better, it looks better. It's just, it's just a more organic process than, you know, trying to go, oh, trying to go the production route. And, you know, with, with the production side of things, too, is you don't really get to uh, uh, have a say-so. 
you know, with how the content creation goes. You know, you have a director, you have producers. It's like being on a film set. So it's just, you, you are told who to work with, you are told what to do, when to do it. And I, I just, I don't know. I like to, I like to know who I'm working with. I like to, you know, have an emotional connection. And just, you know, I want it to flow. Is it more acting? Um, no, I don't think it's at least not mine. Um, you know, it's, you know, what you see is real. The hard part is, you know, there's, you have to think about camera angles, lighting. So there's a lot of variables that you have to think about while you're moving. So you're, you know, it's not like you're just going, going at it kind of a thing. It's just, you know, you really have to remember where everything's at. But yeah, it's for me, it's, I mean, it's, it's real. And that's one reason I like to do it the way I do it is because I, I can, you know, create it on my own or, or whoever I'm working with um, and just let it go and let it flow and see, see how everything goes, see the direction it heads. You know, the only time you really have to think about stuff is just certain lighting and certain camera angles and where the camera's at. And that's pretty much it. Also, thank you guys so much for all the likes and gifts. So I do adult content. Yes, I do. Do I feel more comfortable now with the content you're appearing in? I do, yes. I mean, you know, I, I love everything I've done. Um, I have a blast making the content. Um, so yeah, you know, putting it out there, you know, once I got over that, let's say a hurdle, but you know, I just had to remind myself before, you know, for getting into adult entertainment, it was just, once it's out on the internet, it's on the internet. So if I was okay with that, then yeah. Is it hard to be intimate when you're dating someone? Um, it is, you know, and, and I think that's one reason I decided not to date while I'm in this line of work, is I try to make it work. Um, and then, you know, sometimes partners get jealous or, or certain things. And, you know, I don't like to have drama in my life because I'm just 36 years old. I'm too old for that. So it's just, I don't know. I just decided to not date while I'm in this line of work just to make my life easier and, you know, I don't want to get involved with someone and then I really, really like them. And then be like, okay, I don't want you doing this line of work anymore. I'm like, ah, well, kind of a thing. So I just decided to wait. What am I eating? Uh, I will be eating ground beef and rice. I ground beef is cooked. It's in the fridge cooling off for a second. Um, and then right now I'm cooking up four pounds of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? ground chicken breast. So almost done here. Can't wait to eat because I'm, I'm actually just starving to death right now. I've been trying to keep myself full all day with coffee and water. And if you weren't aware, coffee is actually a natural um, appetite suppressant, so it helps keep you full, which is kind of nice. What's up, Stephen? Welcome in. Good, good evening from Central California. Well, good evening back to you from Orlando. Do I act as well? Um, so I still have my SAG card. I used to do um, stunt work and acting in movies, TV shows, and commercial work. Um, and then COVID happened, and that kind of stopped the last Pro last TV show project I worked on was Black Lightning. Um, and then the last film I worked on was called The Replaceables. It's in post-production now, but for some reason they changed the name of the project. And I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But it should be on Netflix soon. Yes, I was in movies. Um, I did Fantasy Island with Lucy, uh, was it Lucy Hale? I think it was Lucy Hale. Uh, a couple years ago, or a few years, five years ago, six years ago now. A um, couple other TV shows, some commercials for Walgreens and Target, and then um, uh, a couple other projects, a couple other movies. Um, and then I also did Black Lightning, which is actually streaming on Netflix right now. So, but yeah, I, I kept my stack card. You know, I, it's something I would like to get back, back into at some point down the road when my life isn't just crazy hectic all the time. Um, it's just something fun, you know, and the nice, the funny thing about it is, you know, 
I started acting at Disney, um, and then I was doing an Indiana Jones stunt show at Hollywood Studios, playing a villain. And the funny thing about it is all of the, the characters I played in any movie or TV show or anything, I'm always a villain. <laughs> uh, you know, it's so awesome. Yep, I love it. I look, I look extra comfy. You like my Crocs? I got my fancy Crocs on tonight. When I walk around, these are my, these are my house slippers because I, uh, I was actually outside of my back patio um, like a few weeks ago, not realizing it. It was nighttime, and I stepped on a bee, and it stung the bottom of my foot. So um, it hurt a lot, and fortunately, I'm not allergic. But uh, it hurt a lot, so I'm like, you know what? I'm wearing Crocs from now on in the house. <laughs> what do I post content on? I post content on all platforms. I am on every single platform. If you head over to my X, um, you'll be able to find links to everything there. Stefan, thank you so much for the heart. Big puffy slippers. So I don't have, so I have these ones, which are like the camouflage, like the woodland camo. Um, Crocs, and then I also have like, like a old dad pair of Crocs that look like they're made out of leather, but they're not. <laughs> yes, I still am in Central Florida. Yep, still in Orlando. Uh, I'm moving to the outskirts of Orlando, so I'll technically still be in the Orlando area, but I will not be in the downtown city area of Orlando because. Cities are hard for me. Like, I can I can do cities for you know a couple weeks. You know if I go down to Miami or if I'm in Orlando. Oh, damn it. Talking things. Um, but I, I have a hard time living in cities now. Just too much too much going on. Too many people. Everything's too crazy. So they're my grandpa slippers. A hundred percent. They're like, they look like legit grandpa slippers, but they're Crocs. Oviedo, Seminole, okay, yeah, that's a beautiful area. Uh, I was actually looking at homes in the Oviedo area. Got a lot of Orlando Indians, or, or, or Orlandinians, Orlandoians, people from Orlando in here. <laughs> have I ever heard of hernia? Um, I did have a hernia one time, fortunately, it was not too serious. Um, it was playing when I was playing football, and I had um, a specialist literally just push it back in, and I wasn't allowed to do anything for a couple weeks. And then I went back in and had um, an MRI done, and everything was all good. So I got lucky with it. I didn't realize what it was when it happened because I was probably 17 years old. Um, but yeah, fortunately, been lucky, haven't had any hernia since then, not on wood. Um, but again, nowadays, you know, I don't really lift super heavy, so I'm not trying to push ridiculous weight or anything like that to, to the point where I could actually injure myself again. I definitely don't want to get hurt. Not, not a fan of getting hurt, especially when I'm older. What's up from California? Hello, hello. Wait, actually, yes, actually, actually. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm always around the, you know, I go to the surrounding areas, um, the outskirts of Orlando quite often. Um, I normally don't just stick in Orlando. I like exploring, it's one of the things I enjoy doing, you know, and there's so many areas, like I've lived in Orlando for seven years now. There's so many places and so many things that I haven't done that I've just wanted to try out. So like one thing I would like to do, you know, maybe after I move and I think well, the weather starts warming up a little bit out here, um, I do want to go to like the manatee area where you get like the, the clear kayak, you can rent a clear kayak and just go chill with the manatees, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I want to do something like that. Like I think it'd be so much fun. Am I cooking for the dog? No, this is for me. She's already got her food. They already had dinner. Um, cooking up some ground chicken right now, um, and then finished up my beef, it's cooling, and then I'm gonna have some dinner, because I'm starving. It's been a long day of not eating. Kayaking is so much fun, and it's a, it's a great workout. Like, that's a killer back workout. 
You want to get a crazy back? Kayaking. Kayaking or rowing? Okay, ma'ams, you are beautiful, but you're in the base. Let's see if the chicken's almost done here. I don't want to overcook it. But there we go. Four pounds of ground chicken seasoned with Montreal. I don't know. Montreal chicken seasoning. It's delightful. Mr. Incredible, I'm trying. I'm trying. That's the that's the goal. See if I'm in frame here. Hopefully I was in frame. I could probably, be, yeah, I probably could bench press you. Right now, um, how much can I? I think, I think the last time I, on a heavy day, I think I did, on a flat bench, I did 315 for 18 reps. Well, yes, I know it's still, still heavy, but for me, like, it's definitely, like, it's half of the weight that I used to max out at, so, yeah. Um, today's had a great back workout, though. Um, still feeling it. A lot of lap pull downs. One thing I'm trying to focus on is my form with lat pull downs. I have a really hard time like retracting my scapula when I train. Um, so I'm just really trying to focus on form nowadays. Even I have to drop the weight down quite a bit. Um, what else? Some bent over rows. Hmm. Mm, did some deadlifts today. Can I answer Alex's question? What was Alex's question? Is laundry's done? Yeah. I'm trying to get everything like ready to move. Um, I gotta do a laundry. Like I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Like I have so much to do, but then I still have work to do and I just, I'm exhausted. Oh yeah, no, no manscaping at all here. Only thing I do is shave my head, that's it. Don't stretch so loud. I'm trying not to. It's tough, though. Lots of stuff going on. Um, the hard part is, you know, moving and, and trying to work and, and doing everything at the same time and then not forgetting anything. Am I single? Yes, I am single. Not married, no kids. Uh, I'm also really not dating at the moment just because of my line of work. Doing adult entertainment for work makes dating kind of challenging. Um... So I've kind of just put off dating for now until I am phasing out the adult entertainment line of work. Um, but yeah. So if you see me on any dating sites, it's not me. <laughs> Ruin my life. <laughs> what time do I go to bed? Um, so I try to go to bed around midnight. Um, I get to bed around midnight. Um, and then I get, uh, I try to get up around 7 a.m. Like my new shorts. I love these shorts. They're kind of like sweater shorts, but they're, or sweats. They're like sweats, but they're shorts. But they're super stretchy. And I don't know, they just, I feel nice. Show off my booty good. <laughs> Am I getting out of the don't change business? No, no, I'm not getting out now. But the reason I said like, I'm not dating until I get out of that, that line of work. No, I'm just, uh, it is just, it's way too, way too difficult. When have we got Apex ranked? Um, so I've done a little bit of Apex rank this season. So far it's been kind of, uh, I did seven games and in seven games I went from rookie four to bronze two. So kind of blowing through that. I know I feel like once I probably get up into like the platinum lobbies, it's gonna slow down quite a bit. But uh, 
yes, I definitely, uh, definitely trying to get up into Masters again this season. Yeah, no, no dudes, no, no men, no women, <laughs> no dudes or girls. Um, yeah, so I'm not dating anyone at the moment. Um, so, what if it wasn't a date? It's always a date. <laughs> Bronze one, trying to get to Masters, do it, do it. Uh, I mean, I, I really enjoy the new ranking system that they've, they've, they've done this season. I honestly thought it was going to be terrible. I was really sad about it. Um, but from what I've seen in-game, the, the, uh, the updates to the game are actually really good. I like the character updates. I like not being able to do armor swaps anymore and just leveling up your, your armor. Um, I like the character updates. So it's, it's actually a lot of fun. I really like it. I ruined their life. Well, I mean, I will get back to dating at some point. I do like relationships. It's just a bit challenging. <laughs> Where can you get this tank top? Uh, this tank top is made by a company called Jed North. Gold lobbies are the sweatiest. They're probably super sweaty right now because it's early in the rank season. Everything's kind of blowing through right now. Um, I am, I should be, I mean, if everything stays on the current track that it's on, uh, as far as my gameplay goes and how I'm feeling, I'm hoping to be, hoping to be gold in the gold lobbies by the end of this week. Um, any advice on wanting to start an OLF? Um, so, I mean, if you're going to be doing the adult entertainment route, I would say, you know, you're going to want to start up on social media first. You know, if you're going to want, regardless of what direction you want to go with it, um, whether it's on your own privately or whether it's production route. Hey, thank you so much for the elephant trunk. I appreciate it. Um, you're going to want a social media following. Um, you know, a lot of content creators are not going to want to work with you if you don't have a following on social media. Um, and a lot of content creators, I would say 99% of them, you know, see it as a job. Um, so they, you know, they're very professional. Um, you know, there are some that do it for, for fun. Um, so, you know, you have to figure out which direction you want to go with it. Are you doing it for fun? Are you doing it for professionalism? Um, you know, even if it's, you know, professionalism, it still can be enjoyable. It's still fun. I love it. I enjoy it a lot. Um, so social media following is the number one thing because, or, or if you're going to go the production route, no production company is going to work with you. If you've never been on social media before, if you've never been on camera before, if you're really awkward behind the camera, there's a lot of different variables that people look at. Is 25k on TikTok? I mean, that's a good start, but are you on, you have to be on all platforms, not just one. You gotta be on... X, you gotta be on IG, you gotta be on, you know, as many platforms as you possibly can be on. How am I doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm starving. I'm trying to make my dinner right now. Um, just finished cooking. It's been a crazy day, hectic day, lots going on. Had the final walkthrough of the new house. Um, and then I close tomorrow, so looking forward to that too. What is X? X is uh, Elon Musk's new platform. What are we eating? I will show you here in a second. Go before I melt away. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm melting away, honestly. I feel so scatterbrained just because I've had like no food. So I'm doing 100 grams of white jasmine rice. So that right there, got a little bit of rice. That's 100 grams of white jasmine rice. And then I'll be doing six ounces of, at this point, because it's, you know, drained and everything, this is going to be a lean ground beef, seasoned with taco seasoning, which is, honestly, it's one of my favorite meals. So that's it right there. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but this is one of my favorite meals to eat when I'm on diet. Does what you bench matter in the end? I don't think so. I mean, I feel like a lot of those things are mostly just to impress other people, unless you're, unless you're really doing it for yourself. Um, I feel like a lot of people just, you know, 
do it to show off. But who knows? It could not be. I mean, your goal could be to be an Olympic powerlifter. I mean, if it's your if your goal is to be an Olympic lifter or something like that, and you're doing it for work, absolutely. You know, it definitely matters. For me personally, um, it didn't really matter. Something like I set goals for myself in the gym. So like I wanted to, you know, build a physique I was proud of and that I liked. Um, but I also had some goals for for numbers that I wanted to hit. Um, didn't quite hit all of them. Uh, my bench press, my max bench was 600 pounds, which was my goal. Um, my max squat was 750, but my goal was to be there right there with Ronnie Coleman and hit an 800 pound squat, but didn't able to, wasn't able to do it. Um, and then my max deadlift was also 800 pounds. Um, I only did those things like, like I worked up to it, but once I hit those numbers, um, I never did it again. Um, my joints hurt, my ligaments hurt, my tendons, everything hurt after doing those like crazy heavy lifts. So nowadays I train a little differently. I train more like an athlete now. Um, the goal is to be, you know, my, my current goal, physique goal is to look like Kratos. Like I wanna be, you know, 6'5", 265 pounds, pretty cut, not like shredded, shredded. Um, but that's my, that's my goal. Like Coleman, ambitious. I mean, you know, if he did it, my, my logic was if they did it, I could do it too. That was the thought process behind it. Um, the hardest part was the diet to be strong enough to do that. Like I was eating oh, so much food. I mean, each meal um, at the time was probably close to two pounds and I was doing 10 meals a day. So the food was exhausting. So I watch Drag Race. I don't watch Drag Race. I've seen a few episodes. I actually don't even have TV in my house. I don't watch television. Um, I watch a little bit of YouTube, but mostly just like research purposes and things like that. When I do watch television, I watch anime, um, or if I have extra free time, I'll play video games. But that's pretty much it. I try not to watch television. I do know Shangela though, and we've hung out a few times, and I'm super amazing. Um, but yeah, I don't really watch a whole lot of television. Mmm, it's so good. Yeah, anime is probably one of my favorite things to watch. I absolutely love watching anime. Which anime do I watch? It's more like which animes I don't watch. Um, I have a top 400 list of animes, um, but I've seen thousands of animes. From all of your mainstream ones that everyone is kind of jumping on now, um, you know, back to, so I started watching anime in the early nineties. Um, so yeah, I started watching anime when I was like six years old. So I've been watching anime for many, many years now. And I love, I absolutely love anime. What am I eating? This is six ounces of ground beef and hundred grams of white jasmine rice. I can't name a single one. I mean, obviously I've watched all the Naruto, Shippuden. I really don't like Boruto. Not a fan of that anime. Um, I grew up, so I originally started watching the original Dragon Ball and Gundam. So those were the two that got me into watching anime, like Hooked. Um, Gundam Wing is one of my favorite animes. Um, I love Ghost in the Shell. That's also one of my top animes. Um, another one I've, I've, so I've watched the season one when it first came out. Season two is currently out now, and it's partially out, it's still coming out now, is Mashal, Magic and Muscles. If you like One Punch Man and you like Harry Potter, it's like a combination of the two and it's it's hilarious. Like it's probably one of my, probably one of my all time favorite animes. Um, so yes, I do watch a lot of anime. I do watch a lot of isekais as well. Isekais are, are definitely some of my favorite shows. Sounds good, Randy. Have a good night. Thank you for dropping by, I appreciate it. best weight loss workouts. I mean, there's really not a best weight loss workout. Um, it's gonna come down to proper nutrition because you can't out train a bad diet, cardio, and your workouts. Um, so there's really not like one specific workout that's gonna help you lose weight. And also on top of that, you can't target fat loss. Like if you're like, oh, I want my abs to come out. Well, I just, Genetically, when you lose weight, it's gonna come off wherever it's gonna come off. Eventually to come off wherever you want it to, but it might not be the first place to come off. Did I watch Kintama? Absolutely. 
Gintama is probably one of my top 10 favorite animes. Um, I love all the cameos. It's hilarious. I don't even know, there's like what, 400 episodes I think of Gintama? It's a, it's a, it's a very long anime. Oh, so the show that's a mash between um, One Punch Man and Harry Potter, it's called Mashal, M-A-S-H-L-E, Magic and Muscles. Um, it's on Crunchyroll, and it is absolutely hilarious. What Christmas decoration am I? I'm an avocado tree. <laughs> hmm. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> she looks up just in time. What's your muffin? Hmm? You wanna say hi? Yeah, you're so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so beautiful. Mmm. It's so good. What's up, Jonathan? Hello, hello, welcome in. Your goal in the gym is to bench me. Well, I mean, at least I'm leaning out, so it makes it a little easier. But right now, first thing in the morning, I'm about 285 pounds. <laughs> is that scrambled egg or scrambled hamburger? It's, yeah, it's ground beef and rice is what it is. Six ounces of ground beef. 100 grams of white jasmine rice, and the, um, <clears throat> and the ground beef is seasoned with Taco Bell taco seasoning. What's up, Sergio? Hello, Brazil. Welcome in, welcome in. Appreciate you guys dropping by. Normally I have it with veggies too. Um, I just don't have any veggies cooked up right now. I'm actually out of veggies, I have to get more. Um, so that's the reason I'm, I have no veggies, but it's still an amazing meal. You know, I think the nice thing about when I'm, when I'm starving like this, it makes me appreciate my, my diet, boring food. Um, so the nice thing about that too is it makes me not crave any junk food. <clears throat> Jesus, thank you so much for the heart. Also, thank you all for the gifts. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you for just hanging out. I truly appreciate it. You guys are, you guys are amazing. I love you. Thank you. Mm, that's so good still. I mean, I say I don't crave any junk food, but if someone showed up to my house with like a chocolate cake, I would say, yes, please. <laughs> Um, no, so this tank top is from a company called Jed North. That is their company logo. Uh, chocolate cake from scratch? Ooh, that sounds amazing. I haven't had chocolate cake from scratch in probably since my mom made one when I was a kid. I that sounds amazing. I love dark chocolate. Like, dark chocolate is... Way better than milk chocolate. Big cakes and cupcakes. <sighs> See, I would be, oh man, I would be so overweight if I like worked or baked things every day. Cause I'm one of those people where like, I'll bake a tray of brownies and I'm like, oh yeah, these are gonna be amazing. And I'll have like a little bit here and there over the next week or the next like three or four days. That's what I say. It never happens that way because I will literally bake a tray of like triple chocolate chunk, like dark chocolate fudge brownies. And then by like, let's say I bake those brownies at like 5 p.m. By like midnight, that whole tray of brownies is gone. 
And that's like me trying to be like reserved. I could easily eat a whole tray in like one sitting. So, yeah. That's why I can't bake things because I just eat it all immediately. So I used to prefer milk chocolate. Growing up, I always liked milk chocolate. Um, and then over the years as I was dieting, so when I diet like, like I'm dieting right now, I don't have any sugar in my diet at all. Um, so when you have certain things like dark chocolate, we normally don't like it because it's not sweet enough. But when you don't have any sugar at all for months, and you have a piece of dark chocolate, oh, it's like the greatest thing you've ever had. So I used to hate it. And then now I love it because, you know, I went like that transition from not having sugar to having just a little bit of dark chocolate. Oh, it's amazing. Um, another thing that I fell in love with too, that I used to like absolutely hate, was banana bread. Used to not like banana bread at all. Dieted for a while, went to Starbucks, had a piece of banana bread. I was like, what have I been missing my whole life? And now it's like one of my favorite things to have. I absolutely, if I'm anywhere at a cafe or a restaurant, they have banana bread, forget all the desserts, I'm getting banana bread. So yeah, I just, you never realize like how things are until like, like for me, like if you go on like a strict diet and you cut out all the sugars and processed foods and everything like that. I don't really crave like the, the things I used to crave, like processed foods. Like I would diet for a long time and like, oh, I'm craving a Pop-Tart right now. Now I'm just like, mm, Pop-Tart, it's garbage. I'm gonna go like get like a really good quality dessert if I'm gonna have a dessert or something, something like that. Barely just had it. Yeah, I, I honestly like, I, I hated banana bread, never liked it. Um, my, my mom would make it all the time, never wanted it, ever, growing up. Um, it was until I was probably 20, 28 years old, and I had banana bread, and I was like, this is amazing! And I've missed that my whole life. Can I add a bunch of nuts and seeds? Well, so if you think about it, you know, depending on where the bread's from, if you're making bread in-house, it can be healthier. Um, but bread, a lot of carbs, but then seeds and nuts and all that, those are all extra fats. So you have to count, count, you know, count those macronutrients. You know, a lot of people don't think about that stuff. Hallam, thank you so much for the 34 roses. Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously, you know, palates change as well as you get older. There's still one thing I don't like. I hate tomatoes. Never liked tomatoes growing up. I have ketchup, but I hate tomatoes. But yeah, I definitely prefer like super dark chocolate. Like when I'm dieting like this, I don't have sugar for at least two or three weeks. Even if I were to have like 80% dark cacao, dark chocolate, it still tastes amazing. No tomatoes, no Mexican food? There's a lot of Mexican food without tomatoes. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is about regular tomatoes. Like salsa, fine, you know, any, and marinara, anything you use tomatoes, I'm fine with. I just don't like tomatoes by themselves. Dinner is done. First. First dinner of three is done. Bruschetta? I don't know. I'm just, marinara gives me heartburn. I feel like lately, a lot of like, if I have extra sauces, like acidic sauces, ketchup, barbecue sauce, um, stuff like that lately, it's been giving me a lot of heartburn. Um, I really try not to season a lot of my foods. Um, with my chicken, I will throw like 
a little bit of teriyaki sauce and I will mix it. So I'll do like a teaspoon of teriyaki sauce with a teaspoon of coconut oil and I'll mix it together and I'll put that on my, on my chicken rice and it's amazing and delightful. Um, but other than that, I don't really do a whole lot of like sauces. Um, I do season my stuff, but I try not to, try not to go crazy with sauces. Add espresso is essential. Absolutely, no, I absolutely agree. I mean, I um, the last time I made um, triple chocolate like fudge brownies, like the dark chocolate ones, I added some espresso in it as well as a little bit of espresso powder, and it was amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. I will definitely. Uh, Probably, well, I should say definitely. Probably not have one on tomorrow. It is cold right now. That's why I'm wearing a tank top. And I was cooking, but right now here in Orlando, it's like 50, 52 or something like that. Do I have food prep companies? Uh, no, I don't. I, I cook it all myself. It's just way too expensive to, to go through a meal prep company. I've gotten quotes before, but with how much food I have to eat, they want like six grand a month. And I said, hard pass. I'll just cook it myself. Salted caramel is good on, cho uh, on chocolate, is good too. I like it, but I feel like, you know, it depends on where I am with my diet. If I have a little bit of sugar, I sure, I like it, absolutely. Um, if I don't have a lot of sugar in my diet, even salted caramel, caramel, whatever it is, is still like too sweet for me. Like I have to, you know, slowly get up to that. Yeah, hard pass, like $6,000 to cook up some, some chicken and beef for me. That, that is ridiculous. I feel like I should have like literally a private chef living in my house for $6,000 a month. So yeah, no, not doing that. Is there an Ola's in my neighborhood? I don't know, no, there's, I don't think so. I don't know what that is. I wish they were feeding I mean, Wagyu, like grade, grade five Wagyu, then maybe, or A5 grade Wagyu. But, yeah, no, it's $6,000, ridiculous. Even $1,000 is ridiculous. Like, especially with how much food, and that doesn't include like them buying the food from me. That's me buying the food, and then they, me paying them $6,000 to make the food I already purchased. It's ridiculous, no, absolutely not. So, yeah. What's my dog's name? This is Lahaina. She is a nine-year-old English Mastiff and she is the most amazing cuddler ever. She's just perfect. Doesn't matter if you could be feeling down, you could be a little sad, you could be happy, whatever. She knows the perfect cuddle for each like mood you're in. She's amazing. Front of I feel like I'm getting Washed out here with the kitchen lighting. Yo, Jerry, thank you so much for the hat and mustache. I appreciate it. I can't do a glue pop on here because I'll probably get in trouble. So, pet bounce it is. <laughs> thank you, Braden. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. What's up, Zian? Hello, hello. It's just 10 o'clock already? I didn't realize it's 10 o'clock already. Alrighty guys, I gotta hop off. I Teddo so yeah, Teddo's have it is late. I gotta hop off. I got to put my food away. Um, I got some work to do to get ready for tomorrow so I can officially close on my new house. And then I gotta uh, not looking forward to moving. Um, and then listing this house. So, lots to do. Flex one last time. I right, one last time. <laughs> but thank you guys for all the likes. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. Love you guys so very much. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening or whatever time of day it is for you. I know some of you are in the future and it's morning. 
So thank you guys so very much for everything. Love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow evening. Good night. Also, if you haven't already, check out all of my social media platforms. I am on all of them. If you head over to my Twitter or X, uh, Nick, two underscores, and my last name, Pulos, you'll be able to find all of them there. That one won. Thank you so, thank you so much for the coral. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for the gifts. You guys are truly amazing. I love you guys. Have a fantastic night. Thank you.